There are only two bays on the west coast that are home to dozens of species of sharks. San Francisco Bay in California and Willapa Bay along the southwest Washington coast. So we have seven gills, uh, like the one we have here, Pacific spiny dogfish, uh, brown smoothhounds, which are another small sort of shark. On this trip, so this is a seven gill male, right? Yep. Do you know how, how much it weighs yet, or? So no, this animal probably weighs about 100, maybe 125 pounds. Cool. Oregon State University's Big Fish Lab team caught two broad-nosed seven gill sharks. And we're focused on the movements, the behaviors, and the reproductive physiology of large predators, mostly in our oceans. So things like sharks and tunas and billfish. What they want to find out. It really supports a good number of sharks, which is, you know, we're still trying to figure out why that is and whether that's the, you know, the, the freshwater influence that comes in, whether it's all the other prey species that move in seasonally. We're still we're still trying to understand that is why these sharks are calling this bay home. The sharks aren't hurt when they're pulled out of the water. Once on the boat, researchers tag them. Tagging is probably the easiest part, giving researchers an idea about where the sharks are going and where they have been. Oh. And that is salmon. To determine what these sharks are feasting on. Hungry? <laughs> that was what was in the shark's stomach? That was what was in the shark's stomach, so we collected that using a lavage technique. That's a special technique that Jessica Schulte uses to see what the sharks are consuming. We're basically using water to fill up the stomach, and then we use gravity to bring it all out again. What they find? I'll take this back to the lab and I'll actually weigh it, and then I'll look at that relative to where we found the shark, how big the shark was, um, what sex the shark was, and look into whether different sized animals are eating different types of prey. Gives them a better picture of what it is that's bringing them back. There's a lot of algae and plankton in this bay, so seasonally we'll get big influxes of anchovies, so you'll have schools of anchovies that are, you know, a few football fields across. Season after season. Having sharks in ecosystems is a really good thing to have, and having an abundant number of sharks is something to be very excited about. In Willapa Bay for Environment Northwest, Joe Ranieri, KGW News.